What's up guys? So I decided to try my hand at 3D printing parts for my car. So far 3D printing has only really yielded me Star Wars toys that are for my kids and I wanted to try to make something that was really useful. So I decided to base this whole design off of one measurement and see if it would all work out. That measurement that I took was the bottom line of the little inset piece of my front fender. It's about 5.7 inches and I decided to build everything based on that measure. So I threw this picture into Adobe Illustrator and just kind of traced the shape that I thought I wanted this thing to be. And then from there, put it into Fusion 360, extruded it out, and started building kind of the features of the scoop, vent, whatever you want to call it. But it's really simple. I just made a quick design, kind of mimicking an Aston Martin style scoop design and extruded it out, rounded off the corners with a fillet, I think is what it's called, and sent it to my 3D printer. All right, that's it. This is a really low resolution version, so that's why you can see all those layer lines. Uh, and I've got to do a little bit of adjustment. Uh, this is 0.27, which is pretty thick lines, so we'll go down to 0.1. So we'll get a little bit more detail from the built logo there. But overall, I think it's really good. We'll go test it to see if it fits. I'm just kind of hoping here. I don't know if this is a good process that I chose to do, but uh, if it works, it'll be cool. That is actually pretty good right there. Look at that. That's awesome. I did not think this was gonna work first try. Nothing ever works the first try, uh, but this did. So I'm pretty excited about that. I've spent enough time 3D printing that um, it should work. I spent way too much time over the past month practicing with this 3D printer so I could make stuff like this. I am really excited that what I made actually worked. So cool, let's see. Stick it up there again. Admire my work. I love that. I love it. And we'll go over here. And this one, what we'll do is we'll hit the mirror button. And it'll go right there. Just like that. Awesome. Alright, so I'm going to print some more. Print two more. At a .1 layer height. I was going to do 100% infill, but I don't think I need to. I mean, this is like really strong so we'll just do the point one so the built logo comes out a little bit better and we don't have any lines i'm going to paint these things too so you know that that'll cover up some of the lines as well in fact let's go ahead and spray this with some paint that'll be cool all right so this is what i came up with this is a little faux acid martin style vent and i really like the way this came out i didn't really like the color of the silver but that's easy to change uh, but when I was printing the final version of this, I ran out of blue filament. And the filament that I had next was clear. I printed one with clear filament, and it looked really cool, and it gave me an idea. I changed my design up a little bit. As you can see, I used a raft. This is called a raft that goes underneath the part, as well as some support material. Here's why. I decided to make this vent a little bit thicker. The original versus this one, the original is a much thinner vent, this is much thicker. Not only do I think it looks better, uh, but I also decided to provide a function with this. You can see I inset the vent a little bit, so there's a, a space between the backing piece and the little vent scallop looking thing, right? So I made this little space and some gaps. I ordered this off of Amazon. If you guys can't tell, I'm really excited about this because so far this part of the project has gone really well. I ordered this off of Amazon. <clears throat> and this is an amber signal light. So uh, it's for like a motorcycle, I think. But what I'm going to do is going to wire This is all in theory. I think it's going to work. I'm going to wire this up to my turn signals that are just behind the fender there. And then it fits right inside of this recess that I made. So I'll glue that in right there. Stick that on the side of the car. And then when you hit your turn signal, this vent will light up. I'll probably go ahead and clear coat over it so it doesn't yellow or anything like that. Um, but yeah. 
I'm pretty excited about this. Uh, I do still have the built logo in there. I'm hoping you'll be able to see that a little bit better when it's lit up. So next what we've got to do is figure out the mounting system for this thing. You can see it's a little bit long, which I kind of actually planned. So I'm going to black this out with just some like electrical tape or something so light doesn't get through there. We'll wire this thing up to the existing turn signal and then we can mount it. But before any of that, I think I need to paint it. So I've decided I'm gonna use hot glue to hold these in. One, because it'll be easy to remove, you just heat it up and pull these out if you've gotta replace them. And then two, it's kind of got some insulating properties as well, um, so I just feel like it's really gonna be a good solution for this problem. Uh, these are meant to be stuck onto something, but I'm laying them into a piece. I also thought about making like a backing that goes on top of this, but I figured the fewer pieces, the better. I'm just using this tape, to kind of push the glue into place without burning my fingers. All right, so to mount this thing, I'm gonna use this double-sided scotch tape. It's uh, made by 3M, and it's actually the same stuff that was on the back of the lights to hold the lights in place. It is super, super strong. So it's gonna be fine to hold this on. I'm gonna cut some strips off of this to use it, because I don't think we need this full, like, width. I don't know, we'll see. Now we just gotta hold it in place. All right, we can do the other side. All right, so what I've done now is I've mounted these onto the fenders and then I ran the wiring back through the stock hole for the turn signal. I've got a turn signal inside of here and I've got one on the other side too. The other side's a little bit more crowded, so that should be interesting. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wire these signals into my new lights. And hopefully, I'll have turn signals here. Worst case scenario, the turn signals don't work very well, and I just use this as kind of a design feature. Best case scenario, I get really custom turn signals in my wide body kit. So that's the, that's the goal. I've never done anything like this before. I'm just kind of sending it, so hopefully it works. I got them wired up. I don't know if I've ever been so proud of a mod in my life. I mean, this is the first thing that like I've designed on the computer and then put it on a car and it worked and it fit. You're gonna love it. Before we get to that though, I need to talk about something. You guys remember when I first got these headlights and Excite Lighting put the halos in, I tested them out and they looked really great, but the turn signals looked awful. Like, they, they, I'll throw a video up so you could see it if you weren't here yet, but they just didn't match because the turn signals were like incandescent or halogen or whatever you call it. And then we had these really nice, crisp, clean LED halos that were blinking and flashing amber with the turn signals. So um, a company called Oxbeam saw that video and said, hey, is there anything we could do to help you out with your build? We really love what you're doing and we want to be a part. I said, absolutely. I have some turn signals that are awful. And if you guys could just set me up with a set that are going to match my halos, that would be great. So they did and they look great. I'm going to show them to you guys. So, huge shout out to Oxbeam. If you have any LED needs where you need LED bulbs or um, headlights or anything like that, go check them out. I'm going to leave a link to their website in my description. So, that's our first time working with them. It was really great. Hopefully, we'll get some more projects done with Oxbeam as time goes on. All right, are you guys ready to see them? This is what we're going to do. I'm going to show them to you during the day so you can see kind of how bright they are during the day. And then I'll flick the lights off and show you what it looks like at night. Check it out.
What do you think, dude? It's cool. Did you turn the lights off? Yeah. All right, so I have something weird going on now. I'm not sure what's going on, but <laughs> I've got a signal issue. Uh, this side obviously thinks that the blinker is on permanently. That side does not. So I'm not sure what's causing that, if it's the new turn signals or if it's the new wiring over here. It only does it on this side, though. That side does its regular switchback thing like it's supposed to. So, uh, if you guys know, if this is a common LED problem, let me know. I may figure this out before this video actually comes out. This might help too. Right blinker blinks really fast. Left blinker doesn't blink at all with the lights on. Once the lights are off, the left blinker blinks sporadically. That's hard to say. Yeah, and the right blinker blinks normally. So, if you know what's causing this, let me know. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I think this project turned out really, really great. I found out that the flashing thing is a resistor issue that you can fix with your relay switch or with resistors behind the actual bulbs themselves. I don't know what to do about it, so if you guys know about lighting, let me know what you think I should do, and uh, we'll go from there. Overall, though, I'm really happy this thing fit. It got me really excited about 3D printing, and I'm going to be getting a bigger uh, printer so I can print bigger things that are a little bit more functional for the cars that I'm building, hopefully making my process a little bit faster um, as well as a little bit more accurate. So really excited about that. Um, if you know more about 3D printing, let me know. I'd, I'd love to talk to some people that know a lot about this that are really into it because I, I really love it. I want to get more into it. Anyway, if you're not subscribed yet, this car is almost done. So make sure you subscribe. I've got one, maybe two more videos, depending on how hard it is for me to put stickers on it. And uh, then we'll be putting this thing on the road and giving it away. So you don't want to miss that. Make sure you hit subscribe. Make sure you like this video. If you liked it, I'll see you guys soon.